wave outdoors. Uh, this video series is a three-part series based on setting up a home emergency communication center. One of the primary reasons you want to set up a communication center is to stay in touch with your family and friends should the communications uh, grid go down, uh, i.e. is um, emails, cell phones, text messages, the such um, likewise. One of the other reasons is you may have a need for to or a desire to do community service such as Sky One or Amateur Radio Emergency Services. Um, in this first part of the series I would like to give you a tour of my ham radio shack and hopefully uh, give you some ideas. So let's begin. Uh, right behind me is my UHF VHF Go Box. Uh, this allows me uh, short range local communications. I usually can get out about maybe 60 to 80 miles uh, from our intent antenna located in the back. Uh, it's a nice option, it's a viable option should something uh, happen and I need to communicate regionally. Um, behind me even uh, further, if I can lean back here and show you, is my HF rig and my Morse code key. This allows me worldwide communications on amateur radio bands. Of course I'm an amateur radio operator so this allows me to uh, utilize my license class to be able to communicate and find out what's going on on a more broad spectrum should that the um, the need arise. So you know one of the things that uh, I like to bring about uh, is to give you some ideas, give you some uh, options of why you should do it and this, uh, check out our blog series uh, coming up down in the links below to be able to uh, you know to look and read a little bit more in depth than this video is going into. Um, so we want to thank you for watching and have a bright and blessed day.